first was year. your first assignment, James? First assignment. Mm -hmm. I remember coming here, and I can't remember where we met. I remember flying in here, and it was raining, and the plane was bouncing around, and <laughs> had a baby on there, was crying. That was the first time I'd ever been in an airplane before. Especially um, a commuter, huh? Yeah, and uh, yeah, we flew into Newark, and then we sort of puddle jumped mm -hmm. to Jamestown. And, uh, and we had a big meeting that night, I remember that, in some, some hotel. Yeah, we're in Hotel Jamestown, we had a welcome to fall. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember that, and you know, I, and I remember we had the, Mel Didier was the minor league director mm -hmm. at that time, and he was in, and we had to all stand up and tell, you know, where we were from, and mm -hmm. where we had played uh, either high school or college ball at. And, uh, you know, just sort of getting to, you know, to know each other. Yeah. I can remember being so, you know, so scared. <laughs> oh, because you know, at that time, you just don't know how good you are and how you're going to and how you're going to fit in. You know, if you're going to be able to really, really play, or if you, you're over your head now. Beginning at 6 p.m. And uh, I can remember the spring training here, you know, and staying over in the dorms uh, here, which was, you know, it was pretty nice. Uh, because we didn't, I mean, we didn't have to have a car. Mm -hmm. You know, we could get around here in the tank town. And, uh, of course, most of us spend most of our time over the bowling alley. Well, you had ten bin, you had your meals there. Yeah, we ate station. there and yeah. we bowled there, and you know, just we spent most of our time there. Bucky was pretty good with the ball players. Yeah. Yeah. Between the bowling alley and the ballpark, that's basically where we, you know, we spent our time in, in, at home here. Who else was on that club with you? Uh. Any of them go to the bigs? I think we only had one, uh, one pitcher, and it was a little Canadian kid named Bill Atkinson. Had a real good curveball. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was probably our weakness that year at mm -hmm. uh, first at uh, pitching. We didn't have a very good pitching staff, but we hit. We had a lot, a lot of hitters. You know, Bobby Goodman was the number one draft choice in the country that year. And uh, whatever happened to him? And he just injuries. Okay. He got, you know, he tore up both knees, he tore up his shoulder, and uh, yeah, just kept him from getting in the big leagues. In fact, he was drafted ahead of Gary Carter mm -hmm. that year as a catcher. And uh, he would have played in the big leagues without without getting injured. Uh, first base, we had Cannonball Smith, who went on to win a Triple Crown here, and then the very next, very next year, he got caught with drugs. And, uh, you know, at that time, uh, you know, things were just different. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't just tolerate, them. they didn't rehab, they just released them. Especially the experts. Yeah, and then, you know, DDA was, you know, from the South, and he just didn't believe in any of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they released him, and he couldn't get a job with anybody else. Today, you know, they would have sent him to a sure. rehab center and all that. And, you know, at that time, uh, his was uh, grass. You know, which mm -hmm. today would have been would be considered uh, not that serious an offense. They'd have worked with, right? But at that time, uh, they you know they sent him packing. Uh, second base, we had Wally Wright and uh, Baez played shortstop. Uh, Randy Vivas played third base. Don Hopkins, who went on to play uh, uh, with Oakland a little bit, is one of uh, Finley's. Uh, uh, pinch runners, you know, when, when he was using the track guys. He was a world-class runner that uh, Montreal tried to make a baseball player out of. And he never learned how to hit, but Finley tried him for, I think, a year there for just a base dealer, you know, when he was in going through that era. And then we had a center fielder, Felix Arce, who looked like was going to be a great player, but he just never learned to hit, he never could hit the breaking ball. <clears throat> was Hopkins, was he the, he stole a lot of bases here? Yeah. Was he the one we used to give a silver dollars to when he stole a base? Might have been. Yeah. And boy, he could really run. Yeah, he got a lot of silver dollars yeah. in there. Yeah, he could that. really run. Yeah. Uh, I think that was, uh, but off of that Jamestown club that year, I think that uh, myself and uh, and Bill Atkinson were the only two that, that played uh, pro ball. Oh, yeah. yeah, I remember one game that we were playing here in Jamestown. And we're leading the game. We're about twelve to one or something. You know, in a big score, we're killing the other team. <clears throat> and Bobby Goodman was catching, and uh, Cannonball Smith was at first base, who you know won the Triple Crown that year. Yeah. I mean, he had a great year here. But uh, Goodman kept noticing they got a guy on first base, 
And he was noticing that if he, you know, if he come up like he was going to throw it back to the pitcher, that the guy on first base was putting his head down and walking back into first. So he got the idea that if he'd just come up and took a step back to the pitcher and then threw it like this to first base, that he could pick the guy off. Well, he threw it. He must have made a good throw. But uh, Cannonball Smith or myself, I was playing right, and neither one of us seen it. <laughs> you know, I looked down at the ground, you know, like, I guess like a lot of times after a pitch, mm -hmm. and I looked back up, and Mike Hart's the second baseman, and he's running out there, and when Mike got excited, his voice got real high. <laughs> you know, get the ball, and I'm like, I don't see no ball. I'm standing out here like this, and this went down in the right field corner, and the guy wound up scoring from first base, and man, we come in after the game, we won the game 12-2, to mm -hmm. and Walt went up one side and down the other by not paying attention out there. Well, from Jamestown, I uh, I went from here to the Florida State League, mm -hmm. and a lot. Of, in fact, a lot of the players that played here went to the went to the Florida State League, and then we got a, a new draft of pitchers. It turned out a little bit better, and uh, we wound up winning the next year in the Florida State League. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Ellis Valentine come in, to, you know, mixed mixed with us, and uh, from there we went on to Double A and. 74 in Quebec City and we won again and then uh, in 74 uh, of August of 74 I got called up to the big leagues in Montreal Terrific. and I played uh, I played from there in Montreal from there until uh, spring of 82 mm -hmm. and I was traded for uh, Al Oliver uh, down to Texas and we played for Texas for seven years and I played one year in Boston or had to finish out that year in Boston and then I wound up going and playing two years in Japan. No kidding. Yeah. It must have been an experience. Huh? That was an experience. Uh, we had some, you know, it was good for, uh, I think for my kids, you know, they saw a different culture and, uh, you know, we were treated great over there. It was a lot of fun for us. Uh, and then after uh, 90, I, we called it quits. Your highlight, what's the highlight of your career? I don't know. Just playing, playing up there for a, you know, for a long time was uh, was a highlight. You know, sort of standing the test of time. Uh, you know, I think hitting three home runs in both leagues. You know, one of the mm -hmm. few guys ever to do that. And I hit uh, hit three grand slams in one week. Only a couple guys have ever done that. Well, I remember that. Uh, you know, I think uh, winning the division with Montreal in eighty, you know, in eighty one, that was that was big, and then winning. It Again in uh, in '88 uh, with Boston, mm -hmm. you know, and getting to go to the playoffs. Those are those are big things. Uh, going to the All Star game a couple years, uh, but probably the biggest biggest highlight I had, I think, was uh, one of the games where I did hit the three home runs. I hit three in one game in Atlanta, and uh, my parents were there. Oh, terrific! Just did, so I think that was probably the best. Yeah, that's fabulous. Who'd you hit him off of? Hit uh, two of them off of uh, Tommy Boggs, and then one off of uh, Mailer. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, I had a chance to hit. Uh, I got up two more times that day. <laughs> <laughs> you were swinging from the heels, right? Yeah, I got. I got sort of over swinging as we had to try to hit four. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's terrific.